So we're resolving in this record mantra Americana an enormous amount of world traditions into something that on its face, you know, seems very simple. But we have drums who have origins in Persia and the Muslim world and in the South American world meeting, you know, Indian percussion. We have harmonium whose origin is French and English. We have guitars and dulcimers and banjos and things that are synonymous with bluegrass or Irish music, accordions. Um, so I don't know who's appropriating from who. As a musician, everybody's borrowing and saying that sounds good and transmitting it through their own experience. What are the instruments that are part of the compositions? Um, well, we're trying to have them equally Eastern and Western, okay? So from a traditional standpoint, you would use a merdungum uh, or tabla uh, and finger cymbals um, would drive it. And then often a harmonium, which is a little pump organ. I'm sitting in front of one right here. And, um, and that would tend to play the melody and the other ones would play the groove. So in some ways we can reduce all those things down to that. But actually, compositionally, once a guitar gets involved in it, there's a chord structure to it. And that's not something that Indian music does naturally. Um, but yet it fits right on top of it. Westerners are used to singing along with acoustic guitars. So the minute you introduce that into the mix, they're familiar in a way. And they're like, oh, I get that. Right. You know? Absolutely. So, so really, our methods here have to do with our our need to share it and to connect and elicit a response. It's not an affectation of like, hey, doesn't this sound cool? Although it does sound cool, uh, but it's it's really a means of, of pulling a, an audience in and becoming involved because the music itself is transformational. If you're listening to it, you get one thing. If you sing along, you get another thing. Party, 